Hey guys, I'm Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to Monster Sanctuary. Now, as we left off, we were hunting for our second champion fight, which we learned about in the last episode, and we're exploring a little bit in this area too before we head over to the Monster Sanctuary itself. Um, just finding some cat zerkers and a magma pillar along the way. Nothing too, too crazy. Hope you were all doing well today. Thank you, thank you uh, so much for checking out the video. I do hope you're having an amazing one. Crikey, he does so much damage though. Look at that! We, we, we don't even have the full combo set up yet, and he's already clocking like an entire health bar. That's nuts! Um, you know what? Let's go for it. We're looking to get a crit, or just roll well, I guess. Good gracious. Stone rain can almost... Wow. So at, at, at the pinnacle of his power... And there's a burn. Wow. Our team's getting kind of scary, you guys. Just a little. Just a little frightening. Sidekick. Granted, granted, it is Leaf Slash 2 and Stone Rain 2. Although I can't afford it. Dude, apparently he cannot afford Stone Rain 2 twice in a row. Good to know. His man has not caught up to it yet. Not quite there. But Leaf Slash 2, twice in a row, we can do that. So much damage. Oh my goodness. Look at that! Blue gem, a magma pillar egg. I already have a magma pillar, so I should just keep one in reserve, I guess? I don't even know. Uh, also, I, I, I did not even realize we had recorded for like, all, like I recorded for an hour that last episode. Like, it was an hour straight. It felt like 20 minutes to me. That's how we, like, engrossed in this game I get. It's, it's, yeah. So I'm gonna do my best to try and, like, cut down on, like, my, my, my skill point, um, finagling just in the interest of time, because I, I, did, I did not realize just how long I was taking doing that. Can I not jump to that? No, too high. Um, wizard hat, wizard hat. You need a wizard hat, don't you? Well, maybe. Someone does. Because you'll better from that. Yeah, this is a defense and magic. Ooh, that's quite nice, actually. So, yes. Give that to Flubber. So, I'm going to try and cut down how much fire and water orbs. Oh, okay. Uh, fire. Yes, there we go. Pandora's box. That should be somewhere safer, I think. And wa uh, water? Yes. Potions. Significantly more mundane than Pandora's box. What, what, hang on, what, 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 what is Pandora's box and what does it do? Um. Defense plus 12, receive a random buff at the start of combat. The monster can still receive another instance of that buff normally. Okay. So it's, it's, it's an extra, it's a free buff, and it's defense. Ooh. I mean... That could be good, but I, I, I don't like random stuff. Just I just don't. I, I prefer effects I can count on. Granted, I mean, it could, it could be really good, because I, I have no idea half the buffs could be out there, you know what I mean? But if it's a buff I can already apply, I mean, I guess getting double might would be pretty good. Maybe a 40% damage boost. It's not nothing. Not nothing at all. All right, back across Keeper's Trail. Oh, oh also, um, I think I may have mentioned this in the first episode, but uh, enemies do respawn. Um, every every third uh, battle, the the groups, the uh, the, 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 the your like uh, if 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 you fight four groups, the, the first one will respawn when you fight the f the fourth one. Like it's three to reset. Uh, in between, um, you'll notice as well that their levels uh, change a bit. Um, when you enter, I, 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 I was doing some, some, some reading online, when you enter an area, it sets the level for that area when you first enter it. So as you go back through, through, through some of these areas we've already been through, you'll notice that we're fighting weaker stuff, and that's why. Um, that's, that's, it's basically so that you, you can kind of choose, uh, I, I, I believe it's set up that way so you can choose for yourself what direction you want to go in, because if you, if, if you, if you decide, hey, I want to head off, you know, down this away, um, but don't want to, um, I'm, I'm rambling, sorry, my, my, my brain turned off there big time. Um, it's like, if, you know, if, 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 if there are multiple paths, you can choose which one you want to go down, because the levels aren't preset, so... You can kind of choose your own your own order to do things in, which I think is nice, actually. <clears throat> the new eggs, but we already had all them all of them anyway. Oh. 
Like, I don't really want to fight every single thing we come across, but at the same time, I don't want to miss out on, on like, experience either, you know? I'm only level 3 anyway, so it shouldn't be too hard. I'll even forego the buff, I think. Shouldn't be that big of a loss. We'll just chew through these guys real fast. Shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Two full turns. Antidote. I guess it's not a huge experience loss to not fight level threes, but. Just feels weird leaving them behind like that. Right, now we want to stop off and see what this new champion looked like. Hello. You're kind of imposing, aren't you? Monk. Weak to earth. We got earth. Resists air. Well, it's fine. The word can buff and use beatings. Dishes out water and air damage, which we're kind of okay with. Sure. We're kind of well suited for this, actually. <clears throat> Alright, so might to start with. I well, we know it's weak to earth, so... I kind of feel bad using stone rain, too, because we're going to bring all this mana. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat, apparently. Kermit the frog! No, not, not, not that frog. Well, yeah, we're already... There's the burn. Taking a chunk off its health. We barely even got started. Just two. Got some crits of its own, though. Lightning punches. It's like a like a like a Hitmonchan kinda. It's kind of neat, actually. Put in sidekick. All right, so in one. A few more hits. That's okay. We got sidekick now. Leaf slash. It's that. It's that. Yeah. That's it's, it's that huge proc you wanna you wanna have crit. The uh, the, the the defense proc on his on his moves. That's the thing you want to have, Crit does so much damage. He resists air, but we have beating too, so that's fine. Because that will be six total hits. With, the, with, with, with no, no, actually, because it's what it's uh, five normally, is it? Six with the with sidekick, seven with the proc. That's kind of crazy. There we go. Four champion, we kind of got rolled, honestly. We, we, we have a pretty solid team for fighting him. Four stars, very nice. Bandana plus one, blue gem. Very nice. Bandana is mana and crit chance. Oh, nice. So I have, oh yeah, I have one of those on him, that's right. Plus one is eight more mana and one more crit chance. Sure. And then we also got a... That's it, I think. <clears throat> Just working on our skills real quick for these guys, keeping it nice and simple. Let's swat, flop, flop, flubber up here. Man, these guys are basically in the same boat, aren't they? They're just getting their other skills taken care of. Lunch two. Power. <clears throat> we go. Also in here we have ooh, newt. Sustain ring. This leads back over here. Ocarina. Mana plus twenty five. Healing skills increase by ten percent. Oh, that's nice actually. Oh, that's that door we were at before. Yeah, okay. That links back around. We we we, we want to go this way, so I'm not gonna jump down there because we we're, we we are heading in this direction anyhow. I couldn't jump up that in the first place, so. Do I just warp back to where we're going? No. Haven't been there yet, can't warp there yet. That makes sense. This way is the Rockies, which we've done. Yeah, we've been here, done that. Okay. I'm not gonna fight them because they're not really on our way, just kind of on the side path there. 
do. These guys are level like two, so they're not really worth the time. These dudes, I'm, 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 I'm fine with jumping. Like, like if, if, if there's some species we didn't already have, which reminds me, do I have any eggs to hatch? Mm, not that, I, no, not that I don't already have. If, if there's some species I didn't already have, I would say sure. But at level two, they're not gonna be much help to us, really. All right, we go to the right now. Why, well, yes, yes, we can. Does that mean that the enemies right outside the front door of our base are going to be stronger than anything we fought so far, then? Yep, level six. Well, not five. But still, that's funny to me. I like, you know, the enemies right outside are, are the, you know, of course, they're, they're the strongest ones. Alright, I'm like the sorcery. Nice, okay, so you gave the sorcery buff, which is the exact same thing as might, but for magic, uh, to Caesar. Which is good, because it means his ignite is, 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 is ignite actually is benefiting from the same effects as his physical attacks now, which is nice to know. Nice to see. Um, they are all weak to Earth. That is a bad day for them. Burn damage. Quite enough, though. There we go. There we go. And then just give this poor thing a love tap. Five stars. Better. Level seven. Okay, grab the uh, start level two. So grab ignite two. Well, that was crit six mana eight, right? Ah, okay, so you can't equip two of the same thing then, because he already has a feather, you can't equip one. Okay, that makes sense. So you can't stack the same item. Yeah, well, that's kind of a shame, because it's the highest crit item he's got, well, besides the ring. Um, most benefit from crit, uh, you would probably. This, uh, Punk is also all about the crit. <clears throat> so I'll give you feather. Needs mana too, so it works out. Bandana. Anything else worthy of putting on this uh, on, on Punk while we're here? Crit damage. That's crit chains we want, that's fine. Any weapons? No. Alright. Moving right along. You arrived at last at the Keeper's Stronghold! Yay! Kind of bang me out on the roof there, but shush. <coughs> this is the Keeper's Stronghold, home to all monster keepers. Welcome, Keeper Aspirant. And a Rocky, and a hello. Tengu. Dub dubba! Dubba 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 It's an old cartoon. Uh, no, an old uh, commercial, sorry, for the Warner Bros. cartoon morning for kids. Kid, uh, kid shows, those like. Uh, Looney Tunes and stuff. Here in the Caper Stronghold, monsters live alongside humans. We raise them to be our friends. A monster raised by a human would never attack a human, unless, you know, they had to for self defense or something like that, I guess. Usually, champion monsters are very rare, but recently I've been seen in all regions of, uh, in all regions of the sanctuary. Oh my, that's kind of scary. Okay, what's this way? Hello, fellow keeper. Are you aware of uh, uh, how the execution part of the system is calculated? Uh, yeah, it's like how well you take advantage of, of, of like, types and all that good stuff. I guess I, I, guess I should read just to make sure I have the, the, the correct definition. Did you know that the buff debuff rating only accounts how many buffs and debuffs are you applied? It also grants additional points depending on how, how often enemies took poison burn or congeal damage. My preferred strategy is to stay defensive and let my button element my debuffs do the job for me. Alright, fine, here. Let me see this thing. Execution is mainly based on how well you use a combo system. Your first few monsters in increase the rating if you, if you, if you manage to get, a, get, to get a high combo count. The last monster increases the rating depending on how much damage it deals relative to, to the enemy's health. Also, you get increased points if you exploit enemies' weaknesses. So there you go. That's a more a more a more detailed answer than, than I gave. So that's good. Hide plus one. I have a hide here somewhere, don't I? 
Yeah. Stop flying and talk to him. Utilizing the combos improperly is key to getting a good rating in combat. Do you remember how it works? No, thank you. I think the most important thing as a monster keeper is finding the right diet for all your monsters. Ah, okay. So this is this is kind of like the the, the the newbie support corner, I guess, where you have to revamp all those things that kind of been teaching you along the way. Some loot hidden in the place too, of course. The staff. The staff. I told you to take the wizard's staff. Well, Flover's pretty happy with his orb of mana region. Then again, you are... Ooh, it's crit chance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let me, let's see. His mana is a 7 star. He's got 99 mana base. Prometheus is even more... Wow, you, you, you don't need mana at all, do you? So I guess I give you the staff, then. He's like, he's like boosting my mana regen? Nah, man, I got this. I may be a worm, but I'm a magical worm. Ah, stores. Wand, claws, shuriken, shell, mana, and vital ring plus one. Belt, feather. Wand is defense and magic. Claws are attack and mana regen. Ooh, that's quite tempting, actually. Um, but who on? Shuriken are, but ooh, crit chance for both. Good for a balanced character like maybe our lion, actually. Yes, that could go very nicely for you. See, I like his Morning Star though, because like I was thinking, like the Mana Region would be good for him, but like he's got a Morning Star which is in defense, which is just up some more attack. Maybe for the uh, no, for, for for the word though, that could, be, that could be quite nice. Let's grab claws for the word and a Shuriken for Caesar. I mean, I guess the a wand could be good as well, but I don't think anybody really desperately needs defense who has magic right now. Could be in the, could, could in the future, though, so you know what? We'll grab one, too. Why not? We will go forth prepared. Why the heck not? You have claws. You have throwing things. Okay, they lose some defense, but that, that crit chance is getting up there, and I am not dis... I, I'm happy with that. Not at all dissatisfied. Okay, so you can buy skill resets here for 300 gold a pop, so that's nice to know. Honestly, I've not been using a... I've not used a single potion to date. I kind of want to sell mine. Which is probably not wise. But considering you heal in between fights anyway, I don't really think you need potions that much. I mean, I, I'm, I'm probably wrong. But as long as you have a healer on your team and, you know, don't do something too crazy, you should be okay. This is food. Okay, apple, berry, potato, walnut. Good, 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 good. So all, all your basic monster necessities then. Oh, hey, she has one of those... Uh, she, she That's one of the... That, 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 that's the special eagle, uh, which, which we could have chosen at the start of the game. We went with Caesar here instead. Julia. Hey, Rookie. Are your first monsters? Be careful. A lot of strong champion monsters were spotted recently. The cause of all this hub is unclear, but I'm determined to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, okay, well, she seems decent enough for giving us a fair warning. I like it. Nice to know that our, our, our contemporaries are, you know, good people. Uh, what are you doing? This exit leads to the Blue Caves. I think it was reported that they spotted some champion monsters down there. Ah, okay. Let's not do that right now, then. Skill reset for free. A cape. Cape. I think I remember her being a cape. Um. Yes, crit chance and crit damage. Perfect for a high crit creature, such as our friend Pumpkin Boots here. Okay. Up up here. I think that's what we need to do up here. Over here we have... People. Halt! This path leads to the eastern parts of the sanctuary, the stronghold dungeon, and the ancient woods. The monsters in these parts are unruly beasts, nothing like the, like the blobs and rockies of the Keeper's Trail. Come back once you've beaten three champion monsters and reach the rank of the Keeper Novice. Ah, okay. Gotta come back when we're a little, a little tougher. Okay, what about this way? Mother. Oh, our mom! Oh, Madamon! How are you getting along in the wilds by yourself? You want to become a Keeper Master? You know me and your father both are only Keeper Rangers. Don't push yourself too much. Wait, we have a father in this game? <gasps> Pokemon never gave us a... Well, that's, not, that's, 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 that's not true. And there's Norman in Gen 3. So, like, you, you do occasionally have a dad, but in the same place with your mother? Living with your mother? <gasps> Pokemon doesn't do that. <laughs> 
Oh, who am I kidding? I know it's pointless to argue with you. Once you, 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 once you set yourself a goal. That's what makes us so proud of you. Never forget to keep your monsters healthy. Potions. I just sold all those, but okay, mom. Hello, son. How are you doing in your endeavors as a monster keeper? You want to reach the highest ranks of our order? A good goal. Your grandfather him a keeper dragoon, and that's the second highest ranked in the order. So he's making no less of you. Ha 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 ha. Don't put yourself in, 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 or, or your monsters in, in any unnecessary danger, you hear? It takes you on your journeys. Brooch. Defense plus 10, man plus 18, crit plus 3. Kind of a good all around I, uh, uh, accessory. Not bad. Cool. We have parents. That's nice to know. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Some shelves. I'll talk to the kid. I learned all about the different monsters. You read about them? Where? This is the archive of the, of the Keeper's Stronghold. Centuries of monster sanctuary history is written in all these books. Oh, right. Yeah, books. That makes sense for the reading comment, comment doesn't it? I'm observant. I I, I spot things. Mm-hmm. Won't help strengthen the, the, the Stronghold's mon monster army. You know, eggs you don't need to the Stronghold. We'll raise and train them. You'll, you'll get a compensatory reward for each egg you donate. Additionally, you'll, you'll increase the monster army strength with each egg you bring in. When the army reaches a certain strength, you'll receive a special reward. Oh. Well, we do have stuff I'm not using, like the magma pillar and the blob. Sure, I guess. Thank you. Let's entrain this monster. We got antidote and a copper. Army strength 18. Blob. Thank you. Okay. Copper small potion. So when we hit 50, we'll get the phoenix the phoenix tears. Okay. And apparently you can give in trained monsters as well. Oh, that's kind of cool then. I wonder if they'll get stronger on their own. Like, will the, will the number go up on its own if you just leave them in there? Because they said they'd raise them for you. You raise them, so... Oh, blacksmith. You're a rookie monster keeper, right? I'm a blacksmith, a monster armor and weapons. I can upgrade, what, I can upgrade equipment for you. I'll give you some materials to get you started. Four times copper, two times cotton, a red gem, a green gem, and a blue gem. Use those upgrades some of your equipment, laddie. Ooh. Claws. That's copper and blue gem. Copper and green. Okay, let's let's start. With, let's go with the weapons first. Just got these and they're already getting buffed. I like it. Orb, staff. Weapons, of course, are our lifeblood. So, we may as well start with those. Uh, coat gets us health and crit. The upgrades are kind of small for some things. Like for defense, it goes up, you know, kind of, kind of more. Like it's like, you know, 10 to 16, 12 to 17 for mana regen. But for stuff like crit, it's like 1% more. <laughs> this kind of makes sense though, because there are some things that are just bound to be more powerful than others. Like, you know, once crit hits like 100, you don't need to go any higher, so. Um. We we'll have one more blue gem. Let's use it carefully. Feather, that's crit and mana regen. Wizard hat is red gem. It's magic and defense. The brooch takes all three gems. Cestus takes green. Kuna takes blue. Okay, let's. I mean, I guess. Hmm. Don't yet know what I might need. Let's, let's leave it alone for now. Actually, I mean, these gem. I mean, we, we don't need to upgrade the rest of this stuff right now. So. We'll save some of our materials, just in case. Now we're back over there. Cool. Fast traveling is always nice. We moved to Sager only recently. Just seems so exciting living in a place like this. I even already caught my first monster. He's a happy little blob, too. Look at him. Hi. You just recently have a monster me, right? So how many monsters do you already have? Uh, seven. Did I miss any? Hang on. Uh, Blob, Vero, Rocky, Magpillar, Yaoi, Catzerker. I don't think so. I think we've gotten all the ones we've seen so far, except for, except for that one, that one one-eyed slime cat thing that like took it that like we couldn't reach. This is the Keeper's Tower. I guess some of the rooms here you need to reach a certain monster keeper rank. Okay, see, we're Aspirant, rank one. You need to defeat one more champion to no, no, keep your novice. Right, okay. So probably can't access much in here, then, if I had to guess. Yeah, they're, like, blocking us. 
Uh, Infinity Arena, yeah. So, okay, well, I'm, I'm not sure what this is exactly right now, but we can warp to here, which is kind of nice. We're blocking with you, I assume. Online Arena, oh, cool! Well, maybe if some of our, uh, uh, some of our monster community, uh, monstrous, uh, community members out there have this game, perhaps we can make some, do some battles on stream or something at some point. This is the Champion Challenge. You fight pre previously defeated champion monsters here to, 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 to achieve a better score. If you set a new record, you'll get rewards that you might have missed out on when fighting them the first time. Oh, cool! Okay. So, I mean, I, I mean, I almost five-starred that monk in the first place. We did real well against him. Let's try him again. He's level seven now. Okay, so they, they, they grow with you. That makes sense. But I have better gear now. Give him a quick try before we, before we call this. I'll, I'll give this a whirl again. We were doing quite well for ourselves, honestly. Okay, I gave him magic this time around, which is no real help to him, but... Does that burn? We like it. Okay, we're doing way more damage now that we have upgraded weapons. Sidekick. Oh, and he can actually afford two, two uh, Stone Raiden twos in a row now. Nice. So much damage. I love it. Oh, he can heal himself. He didn't, he didn't, didn't do that last time. It doesn't make too much of a difference, I don't think. But All right, let's look. Uh... We had a beating for him. He's now a bit half for mana, but that's okay. Crits there, and finished. Very nice. That had to be a five, so it's like three turns flat. There we go. New record score. Monk egg. <gasps> Ooh! So, so if, if you beat him fast enough, you get them as an egg? That's cool. Oh, uh, the golem was weak to what water? I don't have a lot of water going on. Actually, let's, let's check real fast what, what he's weak to. He's weak to no air. If we kitted out pumpkin boots and the word, that could maybe work in our favor. I don't. I, I, I doubt very much we could we could five star him now, but give it a quick try, I guess. I'm gonna hatch that monk of ours. Wait, wait, wait the, the monk has air, doesn't it too, doesn't it? The, the, those lightning punches. That's exciting. Sidekick. Crack through that shield. No. But not as fast as we were to take the monk down, but he's not weak to earth. He's weak to air. So let's try setting him up with with uh, the with uh, with the word as our clincher. Our closer. straight up, so let's go ahead and heal ourselves to prove our score. And finish him off. Probably a four star. It didn't feel like a five star to me. Yeah. We get a shell. Cool. So yeah, if we were to work on our damage a little bit more, uh, maybe get an extra someone let's, 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 let's see what the monk has. Hatched monk. Oh, what to call you? Um, you know what? If it has elemental punches, kind of reminds me of Hitmonchan, honestly. But Hitmonchan's not a monk; he's a boxer. Ang. 
is a great name for an, 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 an elemental fighter. Level six. And we're all level six now, aren't we? No, except for you. See? Like, we have a, we, it, 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 it once again was, I mean, it's, like, maybe it's the average level of your characters? But then they were all five last time, and some came out at four, or six and five, or... Well, I don't know. I don't get it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't especially matter, I guess. What does Aang have? Punch combo and heal. Okay. And then fire punch, light, lightning punch, ice punch. Fire, thunder, and ice punch. Cool. It's a... Really, attack proc. Uh, his attack is definitely his better stat. It's got okay... It's got kind of meh defense, kind of meh magic, okay health. Pretty good mana, actually. Okay. Grab those punches real fast. If we're gonna need lightning punch, if there's a good one, we can set it up first, maybe. Attack plus, magic plus. It's a physical attack. Wait, are these all physical? Physical, 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 physical. Yes. Uh, his heal is based off magic. And it seems like... Oh, fireball storm, that's magic. Blessed strikes, that's physical. So he does have some magic in his heal and, and, and a few elemental things here or there, but predominantly a physical character, so that's okay. Grab the attack proc. You want those hits. And then I guess... Ooh, is he crit base too? Crit percent, uh, crit chance up. Double impact, crit chance up. Mana benefits uh, is defense. Okay, gains a random buff when lands a, when he lands a crit. That's nice. Uh, critical chance also increases the chance to dodge. Cool. Hybrid mastery, exploit. Whenever you exploit enemies weakness with an attack, gain a random buff. That's crazy good. Magic proc, cascade, which is for combo hits. More crit chance. Critical healing. Okay, so def definitely benefits from crits can get some extra buffs in when critting. Nice. Okay, so kind of a a, a good elemental uh, brawler with a crit with 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 some good crit chance. Nice. That's pretty cool. I definitely like it. Um, it costs 90. 90 to throw four lightning punches in a row. That's kind of nuts. Um. Tell you what, I will play around with that last skill point and, and gear, and we'll come back and challenge the Steam Golem next time around to see if we can see if we can make a um, an air team work against this guy. We need to pull in. Oops, that's the wrong button. We need I have to look something like this for our team team air. So we'll see what we can do. I'll, I'll I'll pull some some gear around and see what we can do. But right now, though, guys, I will let you guys go. Please take care of yourselves because you're worth it. Thank you once again so much for, taking, for, for checking out the episode. I hope you had a blast. I'll see you on the next one or on stream. And for now, I'm Monster Ride Out. Please please uh, take, take care of yourselves because you're worth it. And a uh, bye bye.